Hey everyone, it's Joseph with EVGA. Today we're going to go over a quick setup guide on how to get the HTC Vive Pro set up. Uh, we already did an unboxing of that, and uh, yeah, let's get right into it. Uh, now there's a few things, I haven't yet hooked up any of the uh, hardware, but you have the link box. The HTC Vive Pro actually uh, in the base kit just comes with the headset and uh, the cables you need to power that, but it actually doesn't come with the base station. So if you don't already have that, you are going to need to have the base station set up that first. So for convenience sake, we already did set up the base station uh, and I've been charging the Vive controllers, which also do not uh, come with the Pro headset. Uh, but I do have the display link box here. I'm going to hook that up to the power and we have a mini display port to display port cable that's going to go in this middle connector here and a USB 3.0 cable that also will plug into the display link and then we'll plug those into the computer here. Uh, this part's really pretty self-explanatory. Okay. So now that I've got that hooked up, I am also going to hook up the headset cable to the display um, display link here. Let me just run this cable back here. For now. So you're going to open up a web browser. This website's actually going to walk you through the majority of the setup. The instructions that come with this actually just tell you, uh, go ahead and follow the instructions here. So, uh, first thing you want to do is check that you have the Vive setup downloaded. Uh, that's going to be for the software here. So, it'll pretty much open right away and start downloading. You're also going to want to make sure that your drivers are up to date. So, go ahead and go to NVIDIA or EVGA.com uh, and download the latest drivers for your video card. Here you're going to go ahead and accept the ULA, the ULA agreement and create an HTC Vive account if you don't already have one. Okay. It will link to your... It is going to link to your Steam account. So go ahead and log into Steam. If you don't have one of those, also set that up. Now I've signed into my Steam account and I verified my email and everything off camera. Uh, it's going to have the Vive install software opened up here. It's actually going to install two things at once. Uh, one's going to be the actual Vive software and then also it'll install Steam VR instead of Steam. So go ahead and click uh, install and it'll take a few minutes and just go ahead and let that run. Okay, so while it's still installing Steam VR inside of Steam, um, it's already ready over here on the Vive application. So we have the hardware setup overview. Uh, basically, it's telling me step one's done, which is installing the software. Uh, so now we're going to go to setting up the actual hardware. So I've already set up the base stations in here. Uh, so you're going to go ahead and click Next. This thing is going to go over quite a few safety features uh, to make sure that you're not tripping over cords and uh, bumping into things and whatnot. So go ahead and read those over. Uh, make sure that you're following the instructions. Okay, and then it's going to go over some of the basics as far as how to set up the base stations, which are these sensors back here and right next to the uh, camera there. I have already set up the link box. I've plugged in all the cables here. I do have to press that little blue button on the link box to actually initiate it. So it's going to turn on, it's going to let you know inside of Windows that it's setting up the device. Now it wants me to set up the controllers. You just need to press the system button down here and then hit next. The next step is it's going to want us to set up the actual play area. So that's going to be basically the virtual area that you're going to be inside. Um, uh, inside of these sensors here. 
So for this kind of setup, I'm going to set it up as a standing only because I have the desk in front of me. If you have a room where you can actually clear out all the space in between the two sensors, um, that might be a little bit more ideal, especially if you're going to do games where you're kind of moving around a lot. But for here, if you're going to be sitting in a chair or if you're going to be just standing in place or you have a lot of stuff in the way, just go ahead and set it up for standing only. That's what I'm going to do here. I've got both controllers and headset are lit up in green. Okay, calibrate your space. Um, so at this point, you're going to want to sort of stand in the center of your play area. And have your headset ready. Hit calibrate center. And just sort of hold that uh, headset up where you sort of plan on having the center space be. It'll load up pretty quickly once you have it in place. And then uh, to calibrate the floor, you can go ahead and just put the headset on a stable surface here and measure the distance down to the floor. Um, so for me, it's generally going to be about 69 inches. You can just go by like sort of the height. Um, actually, I'm going to do 68 to compensate for the inch or so that the headset will be resting downwards on my face. I might feel a little short in the VR game if you don't set that up properly. You might feel like you're either a little kid again reaching up at stuff or that you're some kind of a giant looking down. I can tell you when Jacob sets up the Vibe headset um, and I put that thing on, he's a bit taller than me so I feel like a little kid reaching up at the top of tables and stuff. It's really weird. So at this point, I got everything set up. You're going to go ahead and open up the Vibe Port VR and you'll actually be able to see a menu here now. On screen you're going to see now this thing actually recognizes the headset's movements and so it moves as according to that on the screen here. So I'm going to go ahead and jump in to the Vive Pro experience here. Okay, so that's pretty much the basic setup, just how you get the base station set up and the headset set up to work. Um, you are going to need you know, a game or something to play at that point. So once you have everything set up, uh, if you did buy the HTC Vive Pro and you have this paper here, it will have a code on there. Uh, and you're just going to go to vive.com slash code. There's going to be some free content on there until you actually get up and running with some games. So I hope this helped make the experience a little bit easier as far as getting things set up. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Be sure and like and subscribe. We're going to be having a lot more content coming out. So that's it. Have a good one. All right. So we wanted to go over quickly. Um, uh, quick, uh, blah, blah. Setting up the HTC Vive Pro makes me feel like a kid again. Boy, these instructions make me feel small. <laughs> <laughs>